Hello Rockets! On our Art Rocks video today, um, I wanted to do a project that you could do with your mom. So maybe um, if you find a time that you and your mom are both free, you guys can do this project together and it would be a great uh, Mother's Day project. So here's what we're making. So this is what we are making today. Um, this is like a, a lavender field that I thought would be kind of a fun uh, Mother's Day project. So we will need a blank piece of paper. Um, I have two different size brushes that I'm gonna try to use for this. Um, we are gonna be using paint, so whatever kind of paint that you have. I'm gonna be using acrylic, so I have white, black, um, and two shades of purple. If you only have one shade of purple, you can always just add a little black or a little bit of white to your purple to make it um, either lighter or darker. And I forgot, we are also going to need a little bit of yellow and a little bit of green. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do is just add some streaks of this kind of medium, like regular purple throughout here. And they don't have to be perfect, just kind of straight up and down lines. And then we're gonna take a little bit of that darker purple and kind of throw some of that in there. And like I said, if you don't have um, this, this darker shade of purple, you can add some, uh, just like a little bit of dab of black to your purple and it should lighten that up. And then even, you don't have to wash off your brush. You can just kind of go in here and get some yellow and we're gonna add some of that. It does make it a little bit of brown and that's okay. That's kind of what we want. And then just kind of keep filling in some of this darker purple up in here. Um, and then you're gonna take some white. Again, you don't have to wash off your brush and you're gonna add some white streaks through here. Um, and since you didn't wash, wash off your brush, it's gonna kind of blend a little bit with the stuff that you already did. And re really, we're just creating um, a background for our lavender field here. I'm gonna add a little bit more yellow up here. And you can take yours all the way to the edge. I'm trying to save my table here a little bit. So um, yeah, take it all the way to the edge at the top and at the bottom. Let's see if I can do this carefully. You wanna to try to make sure that you're gonna keep going in the same up and up and down stroke pattern here. And again, since we're just creating our background here, it doesn't matter kind of which shade of purple you're using. You can kind of go back and forth or add a little bit of yellow um, in with this background. And try to go all the way to the edges.
And now once you have your background finished, we're gonna start adding some green. Um, so I am gonna go ahead and, and rinse off my brush here. The purple is still wet um, and that's fine. That's kind of what you want. So even though you are washing off your brush, um, it's okay if your painting's not uh, completely dry. So we're gonna take our green here and just kind of add some, some streaks throughout. Kind of making some of the, the green part of our um, lavender field here. And you do kind of want to blend it um, at least a little bit if you can with some of our purple. You can add some more white. Um, and then you can get your yellow and kind of mix maybe some of your yellow with your white and kind of add that throughout here. That's going to help make some, some more of these little plants kind of pop out. So just by mixing yellow and white together. And some of those can be carried all the way down to the bottom as well. Um, and then when you're happy with how this part looks, we will go on and do some of the lavender part. So for the lavender part, we're gonna take our, um, let's see if you can see that, there we go. We're gonna take our purple and we're gonna mix it with our white. So it's gonna be a really light shade of purple. And I'm gonna use a smaller paintbrush here if you have one, if not, that's okay. Just try to get a little bit of paint on the tip of it. And then we're gonna start doing some of our little stalks here. So just, it's a little bit light to see, but you'll just kinda go through like this. Just kinda like little dots all together. And then we'll let kind of those, some of those dry for a second and we'll come down here and we'll add another one. So a little bit of a triangle shape. And then kind of fill them in. And then you can take some of your darker purple or if you don't have that purple, you can just add a little black and we're gonna go through and add some darker um, little dots to go over some of our lighter lavender here. And then the same thing on that one. And then you could even start with this darker shade of purple and add um, like another little lavender stock here. And then go over it with maybe a medium purple. So you can mix all these purples, however, whatever kind of order you, you wanna do them in.
So you can decide how many um, of these little lavender um, parts you wanna add. You can add as many or as few as you want. So I added a few more on mine, um, and then we're almost to the final stage here. So I went ahead and, and cleaned off my brush. Um, one of the last things we're gonna do here is um, add a few, some, some more stems to where these kind of plants are. So using your yellow and a little bit of green, you're um, just gonna kind of come up in here. And it doesn't have to go all the way down, just to kind of stick out a little bit. We'll. Um, add some of this yellow and it's fine if it mixes with the purple or any of your other colors and I'm gonna go through and add actually some white to some of these too And then the last thing we're gonna do here is take this, so wash, washing our, our brush off and then going and taking um, some of this dark purple again and kind of just, oop, be careful, um, just adding a few more purple streaks of the darker shade, kind of where, where you put those stems, so kind of just throughout here. and then kind of blending it in a little bit. I kind of messed that one up, so I'm gonna go back and just fix that one. There we go. And it's actually also not a bad idea if you wanna go back and add a little bit of white just throughout some of these. It'll be our last step. And then there you are, your lavender field. So I hope all of the mothers out there have a wonderful Mother's Day. Have a great week.